Recently, we had the opportunity to install solar wrap greenhouse plastic on a number of our tunnels. And this video intends to give a very quick intro to the material itself and then display the covering of a 96 foot high tunnel via a time lapse video. If you guys like what you see in this video, let us know in the comments and we can make a more detailed video on the solar wrap covering product. In the meantime, let's have a crash course on the hardware and the material itself before we get to the time lapse video. As you can see here, we're dealing with one of the rolls of material for the solar wrap product. It comes in a few different standard widths, and this width here is actually for 6 foot bow spacing. And unlike standard 6 mil greenhouse plastic, the solar wrap product doesn't cover the entire structure all at once. It covers in between each hoop, one at a time, through the full length of the structure. And this is a, a little bit different um, than any other type of plastic that's really on the market. And what this requires is channel, as you can see here, uh, hanging off the structure. And this channel is what uh, two spines um, on either piece of the plastic will ultimately flow through. Let's take a closer look at the channel. And it goes right on the hoop, as shown here. And you can see there are two slots. And this is what each edge of the plastic will slide through. And you can see there's a, a kind of a slit down the full length of it. And that's what allows the solar wrap to slide over the hoop from one side of the structure to the other. And this material, this channel, is installed on each of the hoops. And it's installed uh, over top each of the hoops with uh, self-tapping, self-drilling tech screws and rubberized washers, as you can see here. And um, they're spaced uh, you know, per manufacturer's recommendation. And this is where hoop spacing becomes extremely important. Here's a picture of the true width measurement of the rolls we were dealing with. And as you can see, it's 5 feet and 11 inches. After you take into account the width of the channel itself, a 6 foot spacing between hoops is needed for the, the solar app product to fit in well. We did our best to follow a 6 foot bow spacing through the anchoring and the installation of all the hardware components. And as you can see here, the solar app product does move through the channels pretty easily if you have the spacing correct. In addition to appropriately spacing your hoops, the manufacturer did suggest that if you're struggling to get it over the top or you want to make sure you have an easy glide from one side to the other, you can actually spray lubricants, such as WD-40, into the channel itself. Using WD-40 at the peak and at the bends makes it a little easier to get the solar wrap to move. Now that we've done a crash course on how it all fits together, let's go through a time lapse of the 96 foot structure being covered with solar wrap. And as you can see, I, you know, I know this is sped up a little bit, but once the channel's in place and if the hoops are spaced very well, you can see that it does glide right over top. And obviously, the more people you have on hand, the easier it is to pull the solar wrap from one side of the structure through the channel to the other side of the structure. Here we are approaching the, the last section, and this will close off the top of the structure. And we do have a hip rail here, so as you can imagine, there will be roll-up sides as a part of this structure. And those will also be solar wrap product. And once we get this down here, we will secure the top run of that hip rail um, to make sure that it doesn't move. And then we're, we'll be all ready for the roll-up side, which again is solar wrap product. And here we are putting the roll-up side in place. And while it is still a, a you know a pliable plastic product, the one thing I will say is that the solar wrap is a an extremely heavy plastic comparatively. And if you're going to have a long structure, it's going to be very difficult if you're going to do the roll up sides and have manual roll up side crank handles. I would almost say you need to have a gearbox um, to help transfer the weight of that throughout the full length. And here's the finished product, you know, completely covered in solar wrap. And that's just a quick rundown of the solar wrap product and what it looks like on a structure. Certainly there's a lot more that could be covered with the solar wrap installation process and more detail can be given as far as pros and cons are concerned. But for a crash course on the solar wrap channel and how the plastic covering slides through that, hopefully this video can provide a little bit of guidance and was a, a helpful intro. And if you think it would also be helpful to have a, a more detailed additional video, let us know. Maybe we'll put one together for you. If you think this video was useful to your efforts, or if you think you might be interested in other videos related to season extension and season extension structures, please subscribe to our channel.
And if you're interested in the greenhouses used in the making of this recording, uh, I'll have direct links in the description below. Thanks for watching.